Hey everybody and welcome back to the Rising Tan. Now in this video, I'll be showing you how to create this uh, simple scroll view with cards in a React Native. So here we just have a simple scroll view with the cards of users where we get them from the random user API which I will show you how to um, do a simple fetch request in React Native and get this from an API as well. So uh, without wasting time, let's get started. Alright, so here we have a blank uh, React Native project. The only thing we added to it is the font folder where we added the Montserrat font. You can add your own font of your choice by going to Google Fonts and downloading any font of your choice and add it to it. I'm going to leave a link to this particular font here on uh, in the link in the description. So do check it out if you want to follow us. So we're going to go into this app component. We're going to remove this text and we'll add our card our card list component i'm going to create it by coming here we say card list.js we generate the skeleton for it and now we're going to import it back into the app.js file so we're going to import it and now we have the app the card list so coming back to it so we're just going to give it some basic styles by coming here and say the styles should be styles of container so here we say so just give it some basic styling which is uh, setting it to be the width and height of the container and we'll give it a background color now for the finished product we use the hex code of uh, Hash zero four of uh, this value, and I'll give it a width of one hundred percent to get it to scale horizontally as well. So we have it here. Uh, we're going to come now here to create the individual card item. So we're just saying inside this card there is a card item. Let's call it so. Uh, we're going to create it inside this uh, the same card directory we we'll just create the card item the js file i'm going to import it here so we have that working coming to this uh, directory now we'll just say the style should be style.card and in here we'll just say give it the height a fixed height of 65 we'll give it a background color of uh, this dark color so it'll be this just give it some padding And some border reduce to give it a bit of curve around the edges so there you have our component now um to now to position the element properly we're going to come back to the card list and we'll give it i'll uh, add some paddings here so you, you may notice that uh if you are on your on your device you may notice that uh, this card list is actually reaching the top so the way you fix that is by giving it a padding on Android, this is this is the way you fix it on Android. So you just give it a padding top to see 20, 20 pixels, and that's going to resolve that. However, if you're on iOS, you need to come to the root of the application, which is uh, this app component, and you change this um, view to a safe area view. Import it from a uh, React Native, so that's how you resolve uh, this this uh, notch thing on a. Uh, iPhone back into this uh, component we're just going to give it some horizontal padding so we'll just say padding horizontal and also it can give it a bit of padding on the sides so we'll remove this one and we'll say uh, we'll 
just give it a bit of flex this is because you want the item to be horizontally positioned so we'll give it this flex and then we're going to give it um so now the first section is going to be the so using this uh, flex we're going to give it divided into three sections that is um the image section the main content and then the star we had on the right hand so this is uh, for the image section we're just going to call this um we'll give it a star say profile and we're just going to leave it empty for now we'll come here we'll, we'll give it another we'll define another view just going to call this one the main content since this is where the main uh the text is going to go and now we're going to create the last section which is going just going to be that right section so we're just going to say star we're just going to call it the right section Right, inside this image component, we're going to leave it for now since we don't have any images. However, we're going to style it by coming by uh, creating that circle. So we're just going to say give it a fixed width and height property. So we'll just say the width should be let's just say 14, the height 14, the border reduce. We're just going to give it 25 to make it a, a circle position the element in the center so we're just saying a display of flex i mean flex justify content set it to the center align item center uh let's give it a bit of background color so we'll be able to see it for now so we'll just say the background color should be ash it should give it um Alright, so this is our element on the screen. As that's the profile image. Next thing we're going to come and go, we'll, we'll define this the uh, the text here in the content. So this is a name section. So we'll just say a text style stars dot. Uh, we'll just say the name. Give it a starting name for now. So John Doe. Here we're going to give. Uh, the location which which we which we have in the finished product so we'll just say star stars dot location this location we're just going to say New York City USA alright that is that is uh, looking okay and for this uh, final section we use an icon from ionic icon so I'm just going to copy this from the other screen here and I'll paste it in then I'm going to import this icon from scroll here to the top and minimize this scroll here to the top and I'll say import from expo icons expo vector icons import this ionic icon and uh, all right this is the icon we use and we gave it this a uh, yellowish color which you can use so now to make it horizontal we're going to come here for this a uh, flex we're just going to give it um, say it should be horizontal by setting the flex to be display Flex. We we'll set the justify content so then property to be space between. And now we're going to set align items to center to make it vertically aligned. And this is going to put everything at the center. So you need to set it. You need to set the flex property of one to make it take the width of the container so and flex and flex direction of flow all right <laughs> 
So um, I think the okay, now we have to um, start this uh, main content section. So come we'll copy this uh, main content. Down here we'll say for main content we want the width to be seventy five to be seventy percent. I want it. Uh, I believe that is okay. For the name and the location, we'll just say the name. We we'll set the color property of white. We we'll set the font size to be a little bit bigger, so we'll say sixteen. Add a comma here. And for the location, we're going to do the similar a similar thing. We we'll just set the color to white. And uh, there you have it. Uh, one more thing we need to do is we need to import the fonts we use. So we're just going to set the fonts uh, family to the Montserrat. Montserrat font we. When you set it, you're going to receive a warning telling you that Montserrat has not been installed yet on your app.js file. So if you're receiving that error, you just need to come over to your app.js file. Mine is working right now because I already I, I did it on this emulator before. So we need to import uh, the font here. But before that, let's ensure that everything is working fine on this component. So it is looking okay. Now let's uh, create duplicates of it to see if. Alright. So. For you guys who did not have the Montera font already cached into the application, what you need to do is you need to come to the app component and the first thing you need to do, you need to import, install a package that is um, the export font library which I will leave a link to, to the command for installing it in the description. Uh, so once you have that uh, library installed, you just need to say font uh, font loaded equal to use font I am going to import the use font to the library from here all right um now we're going to set the give it the the font or name so we say Montserrat I will give it the value which is uh, the location of the font we use so you'll be inside the font directory we have <coughs> we're going to import it now, to prevent the app from showing warnings if the font is not uh, loaded, what you need to do is you need to come here and you're going to say if not font loaded, just return now. This is going to prevent you from receiving warning, warnings each time the font is not uh, loaded into the application. So, that should solve that uh, problem for you. We're going to come back now into our card list component. So, we already have everything set up so then the next thing we need to do is we need to fetch the data for of users from the random user api so we'll come here and we'll create a folder a file called api to make the request to the server so not inside there inside the root we're going to create a file a folder api where we're going to create a folder called uh request I'm just going to copy the function and I'll paste it in here. Um, so this is the function that just makes a request to the random user API. As you can see, it is this is the request. It says fetch random users with uh, only 20 results. And then it's going to check if the status is okay. That means the response is a 200 uh, response. And if it is, it's just going to wait for the JSON and then it will return the JSON. Else you just uh, return this uh, error saying uh, the request has failed. So to give you a feel of what uh, this request, this response will look like, let me I'll open it here in Thunder Client. By the way, Thunder Client is an extension you can get uh, in uh, VS Code uh, extensions. You just go there and you search for Thunder Client. Now create a new request. It's going to be a GET request to this endpoint. Now send it. So yes, this is how the API response should look like. So you have the results object where inside here you have a bunch of users. You have 
a list of users so inside this user you have everything you may need about the user the gender the name the location uh the city the time zone uh the email and everything else that you may need so for this tutorial we only need the name and uh, the location because that's what we'll be rendering here so that's how our, our response looks like i'm going to i'm going to come back to the card list here and i'm not and i'm going to continue the function so first i'll create a use effect group here so i'll say use effect now import it from use effect and in here i'll just call the function to effect users remove this third uh, parameter and this is going to be an async function since we're making a request from a server so we want that to run asynchronously we'll use async await instead of <laughs> instead of using the uh, then keyword which is a uh, not idle so we'll wrap everything in a try block so we'll say try in here we'll say the response is equal to await uh, this we're not, we're not going to call this function here so whatever you name this function and this should get you the list of all the users so uh, import that and once we have the response let's just log the response to see if we're getting the correct data so we we'll say log this and here we'll say catch any exceptions or any errors and then we'll just say console.1 the error so uh, let us check the console to see if we have everything working so as you can see this is the response from the server it has all this uh, data inside which is what we wanted I mean, which is what we wanted so i'm just going to come I'm just going to come back to the card list and I'll create a state to save for the data. So I'll just say use state and I'll call it uh, card. I'm just going to set it to be initially an empty array. Then down here I'll say once the response is gotten, I'll just say set the card. Set the card to be the response the result. This is because inside here we only want this uh, result in order to prevent this uh, too much nesting. We only want the result, which is uh, the content and the response. So we'll save that. It says use state doesn't exist. So yes, let's import use state from from React. Now down here we're going to replace this. Uh, card item with a flat list view this is because we want to render all the users inside there so this is where the scrolling the scroll behavior comes in so we're going to create a flat list import that it's going to import that from our react native so inside the flat list we're going to say the data should be equal to the card yeah uh, this card is a state then we have uh, the key extractor and the key extractor is a unique value inside all the list items so you need to pass in a unique item to identify each item in the list so in here we would, we would just say for each item it should set the item uh coming to this response um what i did i just assumed uh, this uh, cell phone number is a uh, unique though you can actually reach out and grab this uh, uuid or these sha values which i also believe they can be unique I just grab this cell phone number so next you're going to pass in the number of columns you want the the list to have so this one is we'll just set it to one and then the render item we are going to say that is going to get in item and then we will now return the card item in here oh we forgot to close this so
okay so here we have our 20 our 20 uh, list of users but uh, we don't have the speed going down so we're just going to come here and then we'll see for each card we should pass in the item and then back to the card item component we're going to get that card that we passed in and in here we'll just replace this uh, static name value with the card let me show you we're going to grab this uh, title first name and last name so we'll come here and we'll say card dot name dot uh, title copy this there we have the first name and the last name okay and for this one I'm going to replace the static value as well with the car.location.city and I'm also going to grab the country so the location that country and uh, there we have it so the final thing we're going to do is so I'm going to try to replace so I'm going to replace this uh, placeholder profile images with the actual images from uh, react native so we'll come here and we'll say we'll, we'll import the image uh, library so we're going to import it from react native we'll set the source property the source attribute to be a uri since um, images are from an api it will be card.picture Dot large because we're trying to grab the large images and then I'll close this here uh, so we're trying to grab this uh, large images from from here so beside pictures we have a uh, large medium and thumbnail so we're trying to grab this large one so coming back uh, here we'll now style it we'll say the styles to be style dot image and down here we'll say for image we're just going to set the width to be 100 percent and also set the height to be 100 percent i save that here we have the image so inside this profile we will set an overflow property to hidden to prevent it from going outside the circle so yeah we have the full image uh, card list so oh, there are some people with card counters coming from right but we're not going to bother about that so uh there you have it guys so this is how you get the uh, random user apis and you uh, render them on a card um it's also you can also you could also come here and change the number of responses that like you need and I can change this to say get me 100 users and I save it it's going to get me 100 uh, users in the card and find that it can you may also notice that uh, you have this scroll there's a scroll bar very close here so if you want to resolve that what you do is you come to this card list and you're going to give it a style property here so you see the style should be styles dot um just going to call it scroll view and inside here we will just give it one attribute which is uh, just going to give it the padding horizontal and we'll set it to 10 we'll remove this padding horizontal property here and save it and now you have the scroll bar very close to the edge as you see on normal apps and now you have this padding by the side so As you can see, I'm fetching a hundred more users, so we have a lot of data here. So, uh, think that's that's how you create it. If you want more, um, if you have any questions, um, please uh, leave leave them in the comment section, and I will do where to answer all the questions.
we also have a discord server which is a uh, link in my bio so feel free to join me and uh, ask your questions there and i do and i do reply to all comments so uh, thank you for watching to the end and see you next time